Namaste. My name is Shakti Kumar. I am an actor and have been on the spiritual path for a really long time. I met my guru two years ago and my life has changed completely in terms of how I see it and how everything is happening around me. And I recently met Devananda Saraswati Ji, who I am with today. And I am here to get to know him better after I found his teachings uh, on the internet, watched a few videos and I am now curious to understand, to get a bird's eye view of what he is teaching. Namaste, Namaste. Shakti Kumar. Thanks for being with us. My pleasure and honor. Your concept of the cycle of life uh, in which you have brought together kind of the, the map of the teaching, comparing it to a yin-yang diagram, uh, you know, the, the black and the white, uh, and how you compare it to the fall and the path, that I found really interesting and you know, very much uh, uh, kind of intuitively, you know, I could connect the dots with a lot of things that I have come across, uh, you know, in in the, in the religious or, or the philosophical teachings, and and yes, the six stages, how they compare to the six stages on the other side, the fall and the path. That is also very much interesting. But one question I would have is in the yin and yang diagram you, you see a black dot within a white space and a white dot within a black space and here you have pointed out in the ordinary life which is the, the black space in the middle of that you see death, which is the white spot. And in the white space, white space, which is the spiritual life, you have pointed out self-realization, which is the dark spot. So how do you relate this contrast? <laughs> well, first of all, Shakti, this isn't my teaching. <laughs> uh, this is a natural thing, mm -hmm. a natural phenomenon, a natural cycle. Mm -hmm. Just like to say winter is followed by spring and spring is followed by fall mm -hmm. and so on. Around the year, mm -hmm. it's a natural cycle. Mm -hmm. And so is the cycle of life. Mm -hmm. In ordinary life, mm -hmm. the cycle is from birth mm -hmm. or gestation, even before birth, mm -hmm. to death and then again around the same cycle, again and again. This is called samsara, mm -hmm. the uh, wheel of birth and death. Mm -hmm. And the escape mm -hmm. from that mm -hmm. is the path. Mm -hmm. Okay, so in the yin-yang symbol, now no symbol is perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, they all are just metaphors. Mm -hmm. So it's not like they're carved in stone. Mm -hmm although sometimes people actually do carve them in stone. <laughs> you see here in India some very beautiful mm -hmm. carving and stonework mm -hmm. of these same subjects. Mm -hmm. But this is the drama of the fall and the return or salvation, mm -hmm. enlightenment, mm -hmm. uh, the darkness mm -hmm. which then gives way to light. And this is the cycle of the year, mm -hmm. it's the cycle of a human life, mm -hmm. and it's ultimately, in the bigger sense, the cycle of the fall and redemption, mm -hmm. or salvation. Mm -hmm. It's called many different things in many different religions. Mm -hmm. uh, nibbana, mm -hmm. or uh, moksha, mm -hmm. deliverance, mm -hmm. freedom, mm -hmm. release, so many names. Mm -hmm. But we're talking about the same 
basic subject. Mm -hmm. Now, with regard to the yin yang symbol, mm -hmm. the point is the extreme of yin mm -hmm. is yang, mm -hmm. and the extreme of yang is yin. Mm -hmm. Now, you can apply that to any set of complementaries, mm -hmm. uh, not opposites, mm -hmm. but complementaries. Mm -hmm. We can't have light without darkness. Mm -hmm. This is the material world. It's built on duality. Mm -hmm. We can't have pleasure without pain. Mm -hmm. We can't have birth without death, mm -hmm. good without bad, and so on. Mm -hmm. All these complementaries mm -hmm. remind us mm -hmm. of the fact that the whole mm -hmm. is impartial. Mm -hmm. The whole, mm -hmm. the Brahman, the self, mm -hmm. the Nibbana, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, the Lord, does not see mm. in these black and white terms mm -hmm. because he or it is beyond duality, mm -hmm. beyond these complementary mm -hmm. cycles mm -hmm. that come and go in their seasons. Mm -hmm. Okay, So when we look at something like the, the spiritual drama of the fall mm -hmm. and the path, yeah. or uh, for example in the Bible, Genesis is all about the fall, mm -hmm. and really the rest of the Bible practically mm -hmm. is about the path, the redemption. And it's all in symbolic terms, and it's very difficult to understand because nothing is given in literal form. Mm -hmm. And also in Vedas, also in Buddhism, mm -hmm. especially Tibetan Buddhism, mm -hmm. symbology is very important. Mm -hmm. But people nowadays don't think in terms of symbols. <laughs> They want a clear explanation, mm -hmm. something they can put into practice mm -hmm. uh, without a lot of mysteries. Mm -hmm. Now, in the past, many of the sacred teachings mm -hmm. were deliberately kept secret. Mm -hmm. They were called the mysteries in the West, mm -hmm. uh, or the esoteric mm -hmm. part of the teaching. Mm -hmm. Now, everything is open, mm -hmm. with books and now with the internet, you can get any of these teachings mm -hmm. from any of the masters mm -hmm. and compare. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what do we see when we do this? First of all, that all of them are talking about the same basic story, mm -hmm. the fall and the return, mm -hmm. or the path, mm -hmm. back to mm -hmm. the original state. Mm -hmm. uh, so we need to know both sides. Mm -hmm. It's not enough to know the path without also knowing the fall. Mm -hmm. How did we get into this mess? Mm -hmm. Why are we suffering? Mm -hmm. uh, and then, oh, it makes much more sense how to get out. Mm -hmm. Simply undo mm -hmm. what got us here in the first place. Mm -hmm. So in both cases, the origins are very mysterious, mm -hmm. very difficult to understand using our ordinary thinking. So in the past, they were made secret to prevent misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. And when a person became qualified, then they would be given the secret teachings. Mm -hmm. Tatra masi, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. thou art that. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a very powerful teaching, mm -hmm. but it can be misused. Mm -hmm. And we see it all the time, mm -hmm. that people misunderstand this teaching. Mm -hmm. And as a result, they try to short circuit the path mm -hmm. without going through all the necessary steps, and of course, they fail. Mm -hmm. So we want to introduce this information mm -hmm. as kind of a structure mm -hmm. that all the ancient teachings basically follow. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a storyline, like a, a meta plot, mm -hmm. huh? that within which, uh, similar to the hero's journey, you, you work in film, mm -hmm. So, of course, you know Campbell's mythology and the hero's journey. Mm -hmm. Star Wars uses it. Mm -hmm. Raiders of the Lost Ark. Mm -hmm. So many famous films use mm -hmm. this same storyline mm -hmm. of the hero's journey. Mm -hmm. Well, this is also a hero's journey. Mm -hmm. And the hero is you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. So, this is my work. Mm -hmm. In the past, mm -hmm. I also used to teach something called the esoteric teaching. But at that time, I didn't have the full information. Mm -hmm. 
or the complete experience mm -hmm. of self-realization. Mm -hmm. But since then, mm -hmm. uh, I resigned from being guru and teaching, mm -hmm. and I went on a seven years path mm -hmm. of intense sadhana mm -hmm. and exploration mm -hmm. of the Buddha's teaching, mm -hmm. and now Ramana's teaching. Mm -hmm. So this actually doesn't come from me. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the idea of the cycle of life is actually the central teaching of the Buddha. Mm. Ooh, yes. So is it is it the same as the wheel of samsara? Yes. Same? It That's is exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Okay. So it, the actual the correct name is called Paticca Samupada. Patita Samupada. Paticca Samupada means mm -hmm. conditional arising. Based on this condition, then this arises. And based on that condition, the next thing arises, mm -hmm. and so on, mm -hmm. right around the whole circle. Mm -hmm. So what the Buddha is saying mm -hmm. is exactly the same as in this diagram, mm -hmm. that there's a fall which is caused by people going into material life, mm -hmm. and then there's a path mm -hmm. which is how we get out of material life mm -hmm. back to the original state. Mm -hmm. So this, like I said, this is not my teaching at all. Mm -hmm. I'm simply putting it in a modern mm -hmm. framework, mm -hmm. in contemporary language, mm -hmm. to try to help people understand the principle of it. Mm -hmm. And once the principle is clear, we can move on to a more detailed discussion of the individual steps. Mm -hmm. And that's what we want to do in this series. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Uh, I have seen the the huge beautiful paintings of the wheel of life the buddhist uh, samsara um, chakra or something i don't really remember this was in nepal and I, and the pictorial description of it made intuitive sense but you know to be laid out like this in a very um, connectable way is very helpful you know and uh, those uh, symbols, the different creatures and mm -hmm. demigods and demons and stuff, yes. mm -hmm. those are symbols. Mm -hmm. Each one has a very specific meaning, mm -hmm. which is only usually given to initiates. Mm -hmm. I want to bust this out <laughs> <laughs> and make it public. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Just like, okay, if you open up the hood of your car mm -hmm. and you look inside, there's, there's a bunch of parts mm -hmm. and they're all connected together, mm -hmm. right? But if you start messing around with it without knowing what you're doing, mm -hmm. you're not going to be able to fix your car. In fact, you're probably going to break it even more. Mm -hmm. So what I'm doing here is trying to give the understanding mm -hmm. of what are these parts, mm -hmm. how do they work together, mm -hmm. and how to actually operate them. Mm -hmm. Like this is what's going on under the hood. Mm -hmm. When somebody becomes enlightened, mm -hmm. uh, it's perfectly explainable. Mm -hmm. It's just that, you know, in today's world, the cat is out of the bag anyway. Mm -hmm. So there's no point in keeping anything secret anymore. Mm -hmm. Everyone has access to all the information. Mm -hmm. yes. So the problem is now, the same truths are expressed in different teachings mm -hmm. in different words. Mm -hmm. What we call self-realization, mm -hmm. atma jnana, mm -hmm. in Veda, Vedanta, mm -hmm. In Buddhism is called Nibbana. Mm -hmm. In Christianity is called the Kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. So in other religions it's called something else. Yes. And what is it? Is it light? Is it dark? Is it emptiness? Is it somethingness? Mm -hmm. You know, how does it work? How do we approach it? What is this dark night of the soul that we hear about? Mm -hmm. So many other questions arise, mm -hmm. which can be easily answered by looking into a process diagram like this. Mm -hmm. But people are used to these kind of diagrams now. Mm -hmm. uh, in the past, mm -hmm. people were more used to symbols. Mm -hmm. 